you get to pick a second level spell and two mana magics. Two mana magics. Two mana magics. Because you're a dragon kitty. Meow. 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 The um, lizard I had on there that I was learning how to um, be a dragonborn, and it had like the. Oh god, what were those stupid things that they were really huge that like spun around? Tails? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> those stupid like things that were so huge that teachers hated and they would spin on your fingers. What the fuck were they? Fidget spinners? spinners? There you go. It's in the name. So it, he has like the fidget spinners like under his feet and he's got a little hat on. <laughs> he does. It's in the, the it's the, in the chat. The best thing is the little hat. I know. I love the little hat. That's why I picked it. <laughs> I was like, it looks, it looks like he's a little person. Let me, go, let me go look. I know I looked at it. I just, my mind going somewhere else. I, I love that one when I picked it up. Because I, I looked up trying to Dragonborn and it popped up. And I was like, I need that. Oh, yeah. No, I saw that. I thought it was something else. <laughs> That's a hilarious picture, by the way. That's my new favorite gift. <laughs> <laughs> Rixus, did you ever roll for your health? I don't think you did. Oh, when, I did. Okay, you did, when, and you applied it when you leveled up? Yeah, I think I just got a 1, though. Uh, if you get a 1, I'm going to adjust it because you, at minimum, get half. So I'm going to add 3 more health hit points to you. Okay. Yeah, I was confused. Like, why is it so low? And I'm pretty sure I looked and saw that I rolled a 1. Okay, so uh, I'm just double checking over, you know. Oh, I checked it three times. So I was like, oh. "How is this so crappy?" He doesn't want to have us any advantage. Although I think that Nags is feeling sick with his roll, so he's getting disadvantage. <laughs> I want to know where my bro is. Your actual bro? Well, he's tur he's turning to my bro in game too, but yeah. He's there. He's eating food. Unlike, unlike our other our other bro friend, he doesn't like to eat on camera. <laughs> like a like a like a dirty dirty bastard. <laughs> okay, he took care of his. Problem. Now I do remember where we left off. We just captured. We were in the room where the girls were that Steve didn't tell us were uh, not enemies. <laughs> Yep, they're all naked. Don't forget. Don't forget about that naked 13-year-old in there. Mm. That is not the correct response to that. <laughs> <laughs> Especially on camera. <laughs> Mike Wallace, is that you? Hey, we've all been 13 and naked once. I've taken a shower before. Oh. Uh, did we get our do we get our spell slot back because we leveled up? When you level up, you go back to full health and you get everything. Okay. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't cheating. You're fully refreshed. Right. Yep. I assumed we were, but I wanted to ask the DM GM. Yeah. Speaking of that, how your tits feel, Gamma? Just fine. <laughs> Not to be creepy or anything. <laughs> well, to answer your question, have you ever put baby powder on a water balloon? <laughs> so alluring, so squishy, and soft. I don't know if I like Just that. cuddle up with it. Have you ever put butter on a pop tart, dude? That's the, oh, that sandwich was so amazing. It, oh man, it was it was this big. Like I had to full full hand it. Did you get lockjaw trying to put that thing in your mouth? Also, that's what she said. Oh uh, no, no, I have practice from my bigger days. <laughs> I I I could do some uh. 
one time someone in the office challenged me to a sub uh, sub eating contest. It didn't go well for them. Was it Roger? No, it was my cousin Kevin. <laughs> he was like, I back eat this faster than you. We went to uh, Reeves. It was like a like an eight inch sub. I might not get. I'm not proud of a lot of things in my life right now, but I can totally eat that faster than you. <laughs> I didn't even chew. He was like, dude, I was like two bites in. I looked over, you were done. <laughs> Told you, bitch. That, that is one of my regrets. <laughs> like, why wasn't that? Like, why I didn't take the opportunity to at least try some of those crazy food challenges or competitions? Like, where was where was my man versus food season? Watching that guy just made me feel like. Well, first of all, I loved all the food he would always eat. Exactly. But I once told Steve at work, our friend Gamoff here. I said, "Look, man, stop torturing yourself." If you're not going to eat right, at least freaking enjoy the ride down. <laughs> Next smoke thing I know, he's got a bag of chips in his he office. He does. He's trying, to smoke, just... he's trying to smoke dinosaur. <laughs> An extinct animal he's trying to get a piece of. There he goes. And smoke it. Like his caveman yeah. ancestors. Who found, quest. A, who found a frozen piece of meat somewhere. And they were like... We gotta somehow find him a meat Pokédex. Oh my god, yeah. Good idea. There's probably one on YouTube. I know there's like a weird channel that goes through like how to cut certain types of meat and then like how to cut certain types of cheeses. Like it's a weird like like series, but I'm sure there's something like that out there. I just noticed that uh, Tempest and I are chair pals. <laughs> oh, yay! You is. I wanted the orange one, but I ended up with the pink one. Yeah, mine's the like burgundy brown. I really liked the orange one. Made me sad, but it's a better chair than the one I had because that one was like way too high, and I couldn't lower it, and then I couldn't even like work under the desk. Like it wouldn't fit with like the way my keyboard is, and I was like, this is not going to work. I cannot do this. Somehow her Ready. knees were above the keyboard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Freaking weird. Are right, you ready to start game off? Yep. I, I did, wasn't sure if any was. He's cool. He's eating. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm, All good. I'm still right here. <laughs> uh, as you guys remember, uh, you ended this with uh, knocking out the red hat monkey. I know. I shillelied him. Coolest thing ever, by the way. As he gets knocked out, you see the little goblin droop look out from underneath the bed to see if everything's okay. Hey, what are you doing? Get back under there. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Don't back move. Under the bed. Don't move. He just stands uh, he's sitting there under the bed like this. <laughs> I'm have a hard time visioning this. Don't you move. <laughs> How big is this bed? It's a goblin. So think of Dobie hiding underneath the bed. Who's Dobie? Oh, Dobie? You mean Dobby? Dobby. Even I know. Dobie. Dobie. Yeah. Think of a Dobie hiding under the bed asking you to purchase the next Photoshop. I like a Dobie better. A Dobie does sound pretty good. I can hide anywhere. <laughs> My health health creates PDS for me. <laughs> Dobie. I almost wish you called him Doobie. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he's just saying there. He's like, "Well, my intimidation check failed, so someone else do it." That's why I whispered. Is that what Game Off said that it failed? Well, I was waiting for him to do something, but I just assumed it did with a twelve. He stayed under the bed. I didn't even know you intimidated him. It's right there. 
He's already he was being intimidated. We said get back under the bed. What is that? What are you intimidating him for? Just to make him stay under the bed. <laughs> you don't come out of the bed until the I tell you say out something. Out if you put him under the bed, he's going to be like, eh, "I'm not talking." Uh, you said, "Why are we staying in the bed?" Uh, okay, he, he does like a little thing and goes back into. I'll stay here. I'll stay here. All right. And while you're under there, tell us where the key is. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> while you're down there, the key, the, the monkey can have it. Search the monkey. Uh, he just he sticks his hand out, and you do find a key on him. Who wants to take this key? I don't want it. It's for the lock, it's for the locked door up north. I'm gonna. I'm afraid I'm gonna lose it with my big lizard hands. Somebody take it. Well, I can. I have I'll take it. Okay, I'll, I'll take it. Even though you should be going first. Here you, go. <laughs> you got a shield, bro. You go first. You're one pussy ass paladin. <laughs> I'm gonna be right next to you. How you gonna be so cruel? <laughs> Pussy ass paladin pal. All right, how how long is that monkey knocked out for? The monkey's knocked out for how long? Yeah, it's just the monkey's knocked, knocked out. out He's not going to tell you. That's like damage. Like, all right, can I drag yeah. the monkey? So you're going to just drag the monkey by the tail and drag him? What if he wakes up and bites you? Aren't you? Well, he's got a pretty long tail. Wrap him around your waist like a belt. Yeah, let me do. Let me. I'm gonna. We. I have rope. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that works a bit better. Like when girls. We didn't know. We don't use rope here. <laughs> we used it to get Rixus out of the hole that our old cat friend died in. We have the rope. I had to use it too. So yeah. I had right. to drag my big dragon ass up. You want uh, you you want to tie him up? Do a dexterity check. Thank you. <laughs> All right, no pressure. No enemies nearby. All right, he is tied gonna up. Show up. Make sure that's a, that's a double knot, by the way. How dumb do you feel if you fail that check? I already feel hey, tie knot. <laughs> I already, I I already like feel dumb. Knot. So he wasn't confident in holding the key. <laughs> no, I just have big lizardy fingers. I can't hold the key. Or tie ropes. <laughs> I, I tied a rope. <laughs> All right. So you, you have the a unconscious monkey tied up. All right. Should we should we should we drag him along with us, or should we just leave him here and come back and get him later? What's the consensus you're, here? I you're the one with the beef with the monkey. I was gonna kill him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just want I want I, know, I, right? I, I didn't want him to like spring back into action while we're fighting some other guy. It's your responsibility. Yeah, it just pops out of nowhere. The monkey's breaks. your responsibility. Yeah, coup de gravy. All right, um, we're gonna drag him. We're gonna drag him along for a little while and see what happens. I got. Where, where's that? Where's that? Uh, where's that locked door at? Up hey, north. hey, can we put Up him here. down? And then Up you're there. gonna do. Um, here. A Roman helmet on him. And while you're doing that, I'm going to cast Cure Wounds so he wakes up. <laughs> <laughs> he takes free bludgeoning damage. Whoops. All right, so it's up here, is what you're saying? Oh, no, we want to go around. I bear it. Okay. I stuck a rock in the hinge of that door, so if anyone heard the noises, they couldn't come out. Okay. I, they were all drunk anyway. I want to take... I don't know if that's a good idea. I guess you can go up the door and go, housekeeping. <laughs> Let me drag the monkey. Let me choke you off. Give me, the, give me the means to drag the monkey. He's my prisoner. <laughs> I want, to right. drag, I want to drag him to the coffin room and put him in a right. coffin. Show me the meaning, dragon monkey. Yeah, all right. So I'm going to go in here with the monkey. Who's making a team's call? Bill? It's late at night. <laughs> Bill called Steve? Hey, bud. Hey, I want to be surprised. Would you? Yeah. 
Yes. At right, 842, um, yes. Game off. So I want to take a barrel and put it on top of the coffin so the monkey doesn't get out. Okay. Wouldn't it just be easier to murder him? I need Give to, a, I need to ask him questions when he gets up. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm going to I'm going to crack I'm going to crack the coffin so he can breathe. <laughs> Give me a strength check. Boom. You successfully get it lined up, have it there. All right. All right, that's where he fucking is. All right, let's roll. All right, guys, I hit the monkey. <laughs> you can technically say it's a barrel of monkeys. <laughs> I'll attempt to unlock the door. All right, and it unlocks. Do, do, do. In my language, that means okay. I want to now sex your monkey. To the As you open up the room... <laughs> is that Ratatouille? Why is Patton Oswald in there? <laughs> it's Remy. Voiced by Patton Oswald, FYI. <laughs> this room ha appears to be a wizard's workshop. A rat scurries across the floor and takes refuge under a large work table set up with all different types of alchemic devices. All of it stewing and bubbling away. The bookshelves are crowded with sheaves of parchment and strange looking tools. Oh, it's your turn to ask the rat where Chief Big Wig is. Alright, alright, Rixus. Do a, little, do a little men talk to mind taker. Uh, I hope somebody gets that Harvey Birdman joke. No, hey, I uh, don't remember Harvey Birdman. Animal. Just squeak at him. He looks at you. Yes. I'm a little confused. Well, animals, they understand gestures and events. Was there someone here before. Make an insight check. Before There's time. no one here. Just me. What about through this door? All right. Just door. me. Mm. Well. Oh, he just, he's just really trying not to pay attention to you guys while he's doing that, while still keeping an eye on you. Okay. No one's here. Um, I'm going to use... <sighs> What's it called? Some bitch. We're straight. Okay. Oh, my mind link got upgraded. I'm gonna mind link with this rat and ask him his name. Name? Tiddles. That's what my master. Uh, Tiddles is my name. Tiddles. Okay. This rat understands names. I don't think it's a rat. Ooh. I think Steve was just trying to be funny. Uh, can I intimidate him to make him show his true form? All right, Peter Pettigrew. <laughs> <laughs> You could do a um you could probably do an arcana or nature check to try to discern what he is if you want. Looks like a rat. He looks just like a rat to you, Nags. Some bitch. <laughs> That's right, just kill at it. Just kill the rat. Damn. Like the, ah. like the killer rabbit from Monty Python and the Holy Grail? The rat starts to freak out a little bit. Why? Well, he doesn't know what I'm saying. Oh, man. You think it looks like a rat, too. All right. Let's try it again. 
Damn it. Can you I sense some that? faint magical energies coming from the rat. Do you want to pick up the rat and do this with your jaws? <laughs> oh, I can, I can do that now? All right. Yeah. You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> All right. I'm going to. What do I got to. What do I got to roll to do that? I want to pick up uh, the rat. What if, give you me a dexterity what, if, what if it's an innocent man that's been polymorphed? Give me a dexterity to uh, catch him. If it, wait, 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 uh, wait. If it's an innocent man that's been polymorphed, he would have told me when I mind linked him. Not necessarily. He doesn't know what your intentions are. Uh, I think I would say what anything to get out of being daughter? a rat. I'm going to think real hard and try and uh, bring this can, out. Can I try to persuade him to say something? Uh, I got a six. No. Cool. got a 16 too. All right. So, do you. All right. Does, does the consensus lead toward me holding him above my jaw? Doesn't need to be consensus. Yeah, you don't need a consensus. You can just do something. I'm asking the party what we should do as a group. The rat is starting to leave. He's not trusting You've this. You've got a will of your own. Just go ahead and do it. Get him. Can you imagine JRPGs? Does, they does... all took a vote every time they were about to attack. <laughs> I'm going to pick him up. What does Kano do? Is Kano like, is it cool if I. The rat him? just sits there and goes, You'll get nothing from me. Oh. So he's in, he's in my hand now because I picked him up because obviously I'm stronger than he is. That, yeah. was, that was a strength roll. That should have been a dexterity pick him up, but he rolled a two to avoid, so he didn't avoid anything. <laughs> no, I had to overpower no. the rat. That's strength. <laughs> you have to catch him. So he's like, you'll never hear anything from me except for all you hear is squeak, squeak, squeak. Hmm, all right. I, know that's I got, him in, my, I got him in my hand. I'm going to well, can him. I convey the message. This is an oddly intelligent rat. <laughs> All right, listen, rat. Oh, put him with the monkey. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's going to happen to you? I'm going to put you with this other monkey who we beat the fuck out of. So listen, you tell my buddy over there who's mind linking your ass, because I know you understand me. What the fuck is up? <laughs> he, he, he goes back for a second. You see him. It looks like... You hear something that kind of sounds like faint whispers in your mind, Rixus, as he's talking to someone else. And he bites your hand and chips his own tooth. <laughs> I just look at him and go, Poor little guy. You little bitch. <laughs> you might want to rethink your options here, because my hand is slowly closing. He's with the Russians! <laughs> Uh, I shift into a wolf to convince him that I'm onto his games. All right, I'm going to move my hand closer to Rixus's face. And I go, I won't eat you, but my friend might. <laughs> he yells, go for it. My master will avenge me. <sighs> All right, we're not getting anywhere with this fucking rat. Anybody got any ideas before I just fucking throw him in... Before I just refill some of Rix's health with this fucking rat food. Can we, we try to this... persuade him to talk? We could open this door. I mean, I did intimidate him. I mean, what if we mess with the stuff on his table? That's a good idea. <laughs> well, if you don't say anything, we're going to mess with anything on your master's table. Uh, yeah, I have move somebody... everything two inches to the left. <laughs> oh, no. That is the worst. All right, somebody, somebody search around the room, see if there's nothing that we can fuck with while I'm holding this fucking rat. Because I don't, I don't want to move until... Ah, there's a guy! <laughs> Get him? We can't tell there's a guy over there. Oh. Yeah, we don't know yet, apparently. He just managed ah, to there's a guy. across there. <laughs> through the wall. It's fine. Why does he look like... Um... I just perception 25 here. Stuff in the room. Stuff in the room. Inside the room. You notice a bunch of tunes written in Dwarvish. Uh, anybody speak Dwarf? I do. In fact, <clears throat> I do. Okay. Uh, the, jur the journal of an adventurer named Ermom. It describes the history of Lost Mine. Your mom? 
and the Forge of Spells. All right, put that in your pocket. The Forge of Spells. More than 500 years ago, the clans of dwarves and gnomes made an agreement known as the Pendelver Pact, which they shared a rich mine and wondrous cavern known as Wave Echo Cave. In addition to its mineral wealth, the mine contained great magical power. Human spellcasters allied themselves with the dwarves and gnomes to channel and bind that energy into the Great Forge, known as the Forge of Spells, where magic items could be crafted. Times are good, and the nearby human town of Phandalin prospered as well, but then disaster struck when the orcs swept through the north and laid waste to all in their path. And they blocked the alcohol. Is this World of Warcraft? In addition, <laughs> gnomes and dwarves, and then there's a great forge, and they help. The, That's the, the most reversed ass thing I've ever heard. Shut up. <laughs> the Lord of the Rings too. Of this book, that notes. You're right. Uh, that there is a mace called the Lightbringer that was commissioned by the priest Ooh. of. Defender, the god of dawn, from the mages working with the gnomes and the no dwarves and the Pandelver's pack. The mace was lost when Wave Echo Cave and its mind vanished from history. I uh, I say we go find this mace after we get done finding this dwarf. This dwarf wind of mine. Dwarf? dwarf. Is this name Windu? It better be. Are we done here? Can I open this door? I'm opening the Can door. Someone please open the door. <laughs> Well, you also find inside of the room three small bottles holding mercury, dragon's bile, and powdered nightshade. Each one of these can be sold for 25 gold pieces. Nice. Put them in your pocket. <clears throat> Put them in your pocket. Put them in your pocket. Uh, there's another monkey over there. We don't know. There's another monkey over I there. I open the door, Steve. You open the door. <laughs> I know Gamal's being a... Being a being a good GM over there, but I don't even know how they knew that monkey was over there. You can't <laughs> smell monkey. It smells like poo everywhere. <laughs> I'm a wolf. I can smell monkey. Yeah, you can, but other monkeys can't smell monkey. Do I see the whole room or just 90% of it? You see the entire room. And you I see an open door oh, in the back. Ooh. All right. I'm going to take this. Can I take this I rat with me? You can take the rat with me. The back door. All right. Do I gotta roll something? No. It's a it's a rat. It can't really do too much. Okay. I'm gonna hold on to this rat for a little bit. <laughs> what are you gonna call him? Don't call him Tittles. He doesn't deserve that. Uh, his, Give his him a name, new name. His name is Patton. <laughs> so inside of this room, you can you see the wall. You see a bed chamber. And a desk with a whole bunch of different notes on it. Ink has been spilled off the side, and it's still warm to the touch, as someone had just been sitting there. I guess I'll read it. I learned how to read when I was a kid. Uh, hey, uh, Rixus, do you smell anything where that warm spot is, my little, my little wolfy friend? Pick up a pick up a trail. Uh, no one contact button. So you're taking a look at the it's desk. Like an old bed. monkey. So various, various papers and notes are stacked neatly on the desk, most consisting of Cranky's written orders to apothecaries and alchemists in nearby settlements for more materials for his workshops. You also find a letter with a banana imprinted on it. I'm gonna take that shit. Put it in my pocket with my other hand. Okay. You, you got a letter. You don't read it first, I guess. Okay. All right. I take it back out of my pocket. <laughs> and I read it. So here, he's at his front door. Mm -hmm. Gets mail. Oh, the IRS. Lord Helgen, <laughs> my spies in Neverwinter tell me that strangers are due to arrive in Vandalin. Vandalin. They could be working for the dwarves. Capture them if you can. Kill them if you must, but do not let them too upset our plans. See that any dwarven maps in their possession are delivered to me with haste. I'm counting on you, Cranky. Don't disappoint me. Unbelievable. We are not working for dwarves. <laughs> Gundren was one. a dwarf. Just one. It's, it's, it's not anymore. He's dead. 
All right, I want to keep that note and the other and the other pile of crap notes I got. I'm strong. I can carry paper. All right. Uh, I guess we should go through that door, the secret door where where Mr. Feeney is. Yeah. All right. We're going through this door. Boop. <laughs> Here, 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 here we go. Oh, I guess we're you guys didn't want to look around the room anymore. Uh, I did a perception check when we were in there. Yeah, so did I. Oh, your perception of fifteen. All right, I'll tell you. Do, 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 do. Inside the room, you find. One hundred and eighty silver pieces, one hundred and thirty gold peaches. Peaches, peaches, peaches. I'm gonna eat those. Gold peaches. Yeah. One hundred and thirty <laughs> gold peaches. Uh, pieces. Are they fuzzy? A silk pouch containing five carnelians, which are worth ten gold pieces each. Right, so two two five gold. Yeah, two peridots worth fifteen gold each. 30 gold. And one pearl worth 100 gold. Okay. Pearl? Mom said I'm as pretty as a pearl. You also find two scrolls that, if you want to know what they are, you need an arcana check. All right, one of you, one of you, one of you magic bros want to, want to, want to roll? It's a nice piece of paper. I know it's a scroll, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll fucking try it. <laughs> Fail. Scroll was even more illiterate. Torvor somehow does recognize one of them as a scroll of charm person. Oh shit. We need that. Alright, let's hurry up and walk. I'm gonna do a little running. Hey, give me that scroll. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna I'm gonna bolt this way. All right, go get the monkey. I'm going to get the monkey, guys. Is that what you call it? Sometimes you just go spank the monkey. I discover <laughs> that the monkey is gone. And I say, fuck. Get the monkey. There's still one more scroll you can try to discover. I try to discover. I can try. A little something to make me. Some... I got it. You recognize it as a scroll of fireball. <laughs> fireball. Fireball. Bumper. It's like he said that on purpose. Fireball. Uh, so, yeah, my monkey's gone. I must have misplaced it. Uh, I think you guys were right. I should have killed him when I had the chance. Uh, toodles. I'll take, that, I'll take that uh, scroll, charm person. All right, I give that scroll to Rictus or Fini. I'm gonna run over here to this door. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to get the monkey. <laughs> he went this way. I think. How do you know that? I just assumed. Yeah, guessing this. I'm assuming that this door up. Uh oh, Steve turned on all the lights. I'm assuming this door wasn't open. Uh, it's open. All the doors are open all the way. Okay. And you can actually see that a trap has been deactivated right here. A spike pit is shown and a little ledge is on the side. You see a few pieces of brown hair along it. Fucking monkey fur. Look at that shit. I'm pointing right at it. Let's see if we can get Rexus to track the smell. That would be uh, a what boy check. It's survival. perception. It's, it's, isn't it survival? Tracking? Yeah. It's survival check or tracking. Well, if you look at. Oh, no, it's perception to detect it. And then once you detect it, it's survival to follow it. Okay. Yeah, Wolf has advantage on all perception wisdom checks that rely on hearing or smell. Okay. You detect a scent of. Right, but that doesn't change the way that tracking works. Yeah, you detect a the scent of the monkeys that leads outside of the building. 
Oh, we gotta get the fuck out there. Retreat. Okay. Is Remy still with, or is Tiddle still with you? Uh, yeah, I'm still holding on to that stupid rat. Oh, drop him in the bike pit. <laughs> I might. I go, all right, rat. Oh, no, see if he can swim. All right, good idea. I, I don't go, like all this right, rat. rat. Last chance. My four foot, my grandfathers are smiling upon me. All right, I'm going to drop him in the water. <laughs> He's, he just starts swimming. Rat swim. I'm going to hit him. I'm going <laughs> to hit him with my great sword. Just because I'm an asshole. Make it a, <laughs> as you hit the, the, the rat, you expect to feel resistance, but there's none. And the rat just disappears into a poof, returning to the plane of existence he was summoned from. Oh, so he wasn't a real rat. He's a summoned motherfucker. All right, guys, I took care of the rat. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. But then fucking 22. <laughs> All right, I guess we're going back he's a rat, maybe, maybe he was actually uh, guys? from like Australia, at which point he just returned to Australia, but in two pieces. <laughs> he was a familiar. The, uh, the rat was a Jedi. What was he familiar with? Mm. He was familiar with everything. Isn't it a, fil a familiar an animal that you get possessed by an arcane spirit? Mm -hmm. Like my... Uh, so they are a real like animal, my, though. Like my fire cat I used to have? Yeah. So they're real animals. Yeah, he was a real animal, but he's now... Okay. So, as you exit the building... Pardon him while he bursts into flame. Make a another perception check. I can see the whole land. <laughs> I don't see shit. No, I can do two. Oh, Rix was the one tracking it. Rix is doesn't catch the smell right away, but Torvor does notice some broken branches that show creatures that were swinging along them oh, to escape. He's fucking monkey fuck. Monkey branches! <laughs> I get two rolls. It's a, I get advantage. Okay. So you do pick up the scent. Uh, heading it north out of the town. Get it. All right, what do we do, guys? Do we, do we, run, do we run after him? Yes. All right, let's go. That's literally our job. All right, we're running. We're following the dog. Run, two. doggy, run! <laughs> He's a nose. wolf, Follow not a nose. dog. From here, they you seek aid from the orcs up north, bastards. You said, smell something heading towards. Craig Mall Castle. Ooh. The orcs. Let's see, Craig Mall Castle. <laughs> Craig Mall Castle. Steve orcs. sees this tribor trail and he's like, don't mind if I do. <laughs> I'll try some more. Yeah. You're not sure where, but into Craig Mall Castle, Mo where the scent goes and disappears. Oh, he took a shower. Uh, so, all right. So, tell me a little bit. So, tell me a little bit about this uh, castle here. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Okay. The centuries have not been kind to Cragmall Castles. The goblins have shored up the weakest areas beneath its falling towers, the crude timbers. But it's only a matter of time before the structure collapses completely. All right. Approaching the main gates, the castle consists of seven crumbling towers of different sizes and heights, but the upper stories are all in varying states of collapse. A short flight of steps lead up the terrace in front of the main entranceway. Past the wreckage of a pair of sundered doors lies a shattered hall, and that is as far as you can go there. All right, so go, as far as you see. 
We don't have to worry about no archers or. Well, how are you approaching it? Uh, behind the wolf. So you guys are just walking right up. <laughs> no, not yet. Wait, calm down. Don't get your titties in a bunch. I'm just. Look, you made him thirsty. Because I said titties. Uh, so what do we do, guys? We walk in there. Walk right up. Do we do we sneak? I'm not very good at sneaking. I can't sneak anymore. Uh, I need some more Burger King to sneak. The Sneak King. Ah, I see. What you're yeah, I could sneak, but it's not going to be a lot of good by myself. All right, fuck it. We'll just roll up there like badasses. The A team. <laughs> <laughs> All right, can I do like a perception check to see if there's like any hidden monkeys or hidden anything or somebody trying to ambush? Well, there's them. either a hidden monkey or there's a crouching tiger. <laughs> yeah, can I can I roll perception for crouching tigers? Uh, you can roll perceptions. All right, what do I you... see? You don't know this anything directly related to monkeys, but one of the things that you do notice is a bow. An arrow pointed directly at you. Is someone oh. holding it? From just here. A floating bow and arrow. And roll initiative. Well, there we go. I can regret that. Got it. Classic Phoenix. Yeah, it. Let me actually get on the fucking square here. Look into my eyes. So where's this where's this arrow pointing from? Left or right? They're coming from here? From here and here. Could have said both, but thanks. <laughs> That's what I meant. Well, since the jig is up, uh, monkeys were coming for you and all your fucking friends. You killed my father. Prepare to die. All right. And with that, the first. Arrow is let loose. At the giant lizard. Oh, yeah. Probably the one yelling at the castle. Hitting for space. <laughs> and you just hear from behind it, monkeys start screaming. Did he hit me? Yes, he hits you for six damage. And oh, it actually did change it. Look at that. Yeah. Since you guys saw each other, the next turn is Tempest. Okay, so there we go. Nice, nice and big ones. Since I'm not sure exactly what's going on inside, I'm going to come up here. Are they shooting from ground level or from up high? It looks like it's higher. I don't see any enemies. The uh, enemies, you can see the arrows from back here and here. That's all you can see through. Okay, so the little arrow slits that are being fired out of. Yeah, I would move. I would move more. Go inside. Yeah. Yeah, you're kind of right in line with the narrow hole. So I'll just uh, reveal it so you guys can see through. Do 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 do. do. If you keep it up, I'm gonna start getting into show tunes. 
<laughs> Thanks so much for that smattering amount of, of reveal. Okay, then I guess I will move into the doorway. Well, that's not a doorway, that's an arrow slit about 10 feet. Yeah, you, gotta oh, move, okay. you gotta move like right Got there. Right Called right a turret. Okay, yeah. I see. It's a castle being descended. Um, um, so, I call it a murder hole. <laughs> um, can I cast a fireball at these? The the wood there? No. Okay. So there's no way to destroy that. Okay. Then I you will. You can try and shoot one into that hole. That's but, that's what I was gonna do. But you gotta be like, you probably gotta roll super high to get in that tiny spot. Return the device. I'll be destroyed. <laughs> um, but that's up to Gamoff. What you wanting to do? Um, I was gonna try to do a firebolt or another spell. Oh, you can try, you can try shooting a firebolt up there. You, it's they're gonna they probably have crap ton of it's gonna be real hard to hit. Yep. Uh, You're gonna have um, a hard time hitting. They gain extra AC because of their cover. And unfortunately, I did not expect you guys to come here, so I don't have them named. <laughs> oh no, now they're just goblins. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Just burst into the room, let's you, see what happens. You, you, yeah, let, just run in there. you let us here. So I'm bursting into this room? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just go right in there. Right. <laughs> I'm in there. I don't know what I'm gonna do. And you see. <laughs> you can see. You can. Okay. <laughs> Woo, I can't, I, I, hey, if we're inside, right. they can't shoot us through those little holes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Yep. Okay. Next so, time. Do I go do ahead, nothing but just run in? Oh, do you want to do anything else besides just running? Well, can I do like a perception chest? check or something and see well i have really crap perception now what are you looking for oh just to see if i can see anything roll perception you see doors you've entered into what looks like a main area a welcoming area and there's a bunch of doors everywhere that's about all you see except for you do notice that this floor right here looks a bit strange but you're not sure why it's a trap <laughs> okay. careful don't step on it okay that's that's all i wanted to do i wanted at least wanted to let us see if there was anything I, in there. I yelled over you did good kid <laughs> <laughs> okay um now another goblin takes a turn and fires another arrow at the noisy lizard that's my job. <laughs> What's your AC? 17. He does look like he's always trying to pick a fight. Hitting you for two points of damage. Hey, put a little square on you. You put a little square on top of your face. Why? Because I clicked the wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> you for two points of damage and at the same time busting through a door to the north you see a hobgoblin come through it Yay. hobgoblin watch out spider-man <laughs> doppelgangers right behind <laughs> nicely done it's k rule's turn uh one two get in there three four it's time five, you did something brave six All right, let's see what I can let's see what I can do. Give him the stink eye. Oh, I'm I, I got forever resting resting croc face. <laughs> what a croc! Freaking. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna heal myself for five points of damage. You only took two points of damage. No, oh. I took I took eight. Oh yeah. 
point, I think it better okay. to uh, heal myself. Another goblin fires off his short bow at Finny. Missing completely. And uh, to the south, another goblin bl blasts through the door, yelling. Arriba! <laughs> Arriba! Can you name, can you, can you name one? All right, I got it. Name that one Speedy. <laughs> So, uh, Torvor has heard me say this, but when we go to Oribos, and wow, I would always call it Oribos, and now I can't get it out of my head whenever I Oribos, see it. Oribos. <laughs> like, I'm going to Oribos. I'll be there in a minute. Chick fil -A. I don't know why, but Oribos just sounds delicious. <laughs> <laughs> so, now it is. I will have the Oribos, please. I'm going to run right here. You got full berries, man. And if, if Speedy Gonzalez over here runs in front of me, I'm going to bite him in the neck. Okay, so you're prepared to bite. Gotcha. Yeah. Next, you All right, Torvor, your turn. And you got full berries. One berry eating son of a bitch. Yeah, but I love them berries. I'm going to try my new Radiant Sunbolt. Ooh. Okay, so that's a standard attack. And that was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> you rolled the damage. So radiant. You rolled the damage. You didn't roll the hit. You get another chance. You missed. Damn it. Not much better. You, you know what? You were just getting used to it. You run around the corner. You go, ah, and it just blasts right on a hobgoblin. I think you're still... you got the part where he yells radiant sunball. I should say hobgoblin. <laughs> Yeah, Ready sunbolt. Ah, <laughs> yeah, his name is Ben. <laughs> I was just named to Ben. No, Ned. Ned Leeds. His name is his name is Leeds. Leeds the Hobgoblin. <laughs> that works. <laughs> All right, with this, it is now. I appreciate the you waving goblin. in the background. That was great. <laughs> the next goblin's turn, who's going to fire at Finny? Oof, your AC is? 20. All right, and he hits, dealing eight piercing damage. What the fuck? He gets off a good hit. And another hobgoblin comes out the door. I see what my AC is when you crit. Fancy. Yes, piece of shit. All right, his name is his name is Ned. Okay. And with that, it's Finny's turn. And with that, it becoming Finny's turn, I will step up over here. And I'll summon a spiritual weapon right here. And I'm going to have it attack Ned. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Roll to 22. It hits. <laughs> take that. Take that, Ned. Locally, don't you go Landers. Right, you have control oh, over the spiritual weapon right there. He got hit by a spectral mace right in the head. Bonk. Then just kind of like shakes his head real quick. He's like, what the hell was that? What the? <laughs> what the? What the? Right. The goblin's unable to... Uh, Fire it shot from where it is, steps out, and tries to shoot past the spectral weapon at Torvor. Tell him to do his worst. But he is so flabbergasted that he pulled back but forgets to release and just kind of goes like that at the floating gun. Heard that. His name wow, is Flubber. That's a terrible guy. As another goblin comes out, 
His name is Flubber. All right. The one up by Ben. Tempest, your turn. Okay, so um, since I have range spells, I am going to see. I'm just gonna stay where I'm at, and I'm gonna shoot at Speedy. I am going to try a firebolt at Speedy. Okay. Get him. You miss. Oh. He's too fast. Speedy's too quick for you. Apparently. <laughs> he says, Aribos, Aribos. <laughs> he dodges to the side and then fires off an arrow. Missing, but it looked cool. <laughs> Another goblin comes out. I'm still here. Of the room and then starts running at K. Rule, taking a swing at him with a scimitar. Missing terribly. We're effectively getting very surrounded. Yep. Mm -hmm. And with that, it's K. Rule's turn. K. Rule is about to one shot everybody. Okay, so as a bonus action, I can make a uh, bite attack. Okay. I'm going to bite the mother in front of me. Okay. Let me roll for that. Jump. Give him the old chopper -uni. Damn it. He weaves back when he's shaken up. All right, good. All right. Since I missed at that, I'm just going to hit him with my good old handy dandy super new mm, plus one great sword of death. No book. Oh. Oof. Oof. I, that's a crit. Sure so is. roll your damage. Did you, did you crit on the goblin or on Ned? The goblin. I roll it twice, nice. right? Yeah, I roll it twice. You hit the goblin, and even though he went back for the bite, you followed straight up with your sword and just catch him right here, bringing him into two pieces of goblin. I like how you like that, you little motherfucker. And he is down. My knowledge will bite your face off. I definitely got that much out of that description that he died. <laughs> that, can I move to or through a spiritual weapon or no? Does it sit there like a turret or is it a one, one and done spell? It's still there. Okay. So this goblin is going to come up. And he's I, don't gonna think it, I, don't, I don't think it gets reactions so. though. Okay. And he's going to run around over here and seeing that as he sees the blood splatter for the other guy, he decides I'm not going to punch him and swings at the cat standing next to him instead. Hitting him for when did he get an opportunity? When did he get an attack? Hmm? Since I stopped next to him. Okay. Um, also, Nags, I think, did you when you rolled, did you roll it on your character sheet or did you click the plus one in the chat? I rolled it on my sheet. Okay, I think if you hit it in the chat, it would have included crit damage since it knew you crit. Uh, hitting him for six points of damage. Oh, yeah, there you go. It's okay, I'm, I killed him. I'm not worried about it. Oh, it's not a big deal this time, but it just makes it useful for... So he hits you for six points of damage. And with that, Ben Shapiro takes out his longbow, pulls it back, and... To the left. It's too small of a space that he's unable to hit you with anything. Who is he aiming at? Rix's turn. Time to get the old Shillelagh uh, out, if you know what I'm talking about. Mm. I'm still Wolf. Oh, I know. I just want to see the Shillelagh. 
my shillelagh. Oh man, look at this. Yeah, there, we have, we have the color no, square. We have no room to operate here. No one. What's the color square? Uh, that might be a trap. Yeah. We just okay. know it doesn't look right. Yes. <laughs> Something off about this hovering, floating green marker in the castle world. <laughs> <laughs> just ain't right. All right. Well. Speaking of tour, where I got I got something for you. I got I got an idea for you. If you're open to suggestions, this is your turn. I'm leaving the country. <laughs> <laughs> it's Rixus's turn. I just thought of it. Mm hmm. Get in there with them mofos. All right, I'm going to bonus action shift back to human form and throw an ice knife at Ben Shapiro. Okay. Really? <laughs> it misses. What's the dexterity save? Uh, 13. Okay, and that's to take half damage, right? 2d6 cold damage for everyone that loses it. Okay, go ahead and roll the damage, because one of them already failed. <laughs> nice. Alright, and with that, Ned takes 11 points of damage. Fuck you, and Ned! Dies. The exploding knife hits him in the back of the head and knocks him down. But the other two are unfazed by it. Man, I thought these hobgoblins were going to be tough. They're just a bunch of bitches. And it's Torvor's turn. So what was your idea? All right, buddy. Do you have that shove technique? Shove it in. <laughs> I want you to shove that goblin into that square and see what happens. I'm assuming I have shove. I think you have something like that. It was either you or... It's a strength check. It's not a move. It's a check for uh, athletics. Maybe, it was, I, would, I, maybe I was thinking that, of Rixus's gust of wind. Yeah, I have gust of wind. I mean, it's just an action in combat. I could shove I'm, as I'm now looking right at it. Yeah. But you can push. It's a athletics check. If you nail this, this will be hilarious. Maybe. <laughs> one. With that, the goblin gets sent flying backwards and panics for a second. You see him turn, and his foot catches a piece of wire. The roof starts to shake and crumble until finally you just see the beams all start to fall <laughs> from the ceiling. A pile of rubble, beams, stone. So you're telling me the Torvor turned that into a mother... Oh, and just pancake collapses down on him. Burying him alive. Right there, buddy. Woohoo! <laughs> I think I'm starting to pick up on what just happened. If you could. Yeah, that works. There was. <laughs> what happened? With that, it's. Uh, it's the goblin's turn. This goblin's gonna come right here. He hasn't been paying attention to anything, so he doesn't know what happened to the last one before him, and he comes up and swings his A roll. Buster. Hitting him for four points of damage. Oh, you know what happened to your fucking friend? What to happen to you? And it's my fucking turn, you little bastard. 
you don't make the you don't make the you don't make the lizard angry. With this, a hobgoblin that has come from behind is now <laughs> seen and takes aim with his longbow at Rixus. Oof. Hitting for nine points of damage. With that, it's Finny's turn. And with that, I am tired of these three little goblins over here. So I'm going to use Misty Step to go over here. And I'm going to use uh, the Thunderclap spell and Channel Divinity to do max damage. Okay. Oh, God. Uh, well, oh. It, reaches, it reaches to there. So at least there's that. <laughs> okay, so that's one, two, so, three, four. Yeah, 15 feet. 15. <laughs> Just <laughs> They were gonna come anyways. Yeah, you're right. I'm mean, not thunder clap, thunder wave. So we're gonna say it hits that box minus Rix's because he's protected from the angle, correct? So eight damage if they make their save, sixteen damage if they don't. It's a tw it's a constitution save. Twelve twelve con. Wait, you said it's a 16 and they make it, 8 and they don't? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, that's super effective. You for, you I'm going to say this you one. Forgot one. You forgot one. The one in front of him? The one right, the one right there that should be dead. Yeah. The they guy. have 7 health. And with that, Finny just demolished a group. The goblins over here are freaked the fuck out because they were just eating. And they, all of a sudden, this man just teleported in and exploded everyone. Killed like eight of them. You see... Y'all should have seen it. was crazy. So uh, as you pull up in, you see a fat goblin sitting in this corner right here with the cooking pot. And he just turns over and looks and goes, My patrons! Go get hey. them! I did. And with that, we start back off with, uh... <laughs> what? Is this mace still floating right here? Yes. Okay. Ben Shapiro coming up, taking a step forward, and swinging at Tor War. Shapiro, Shapiro. Critting for ten points of damage. Ouch. You still alive there, buddy? Ouch. I'm down to six. Okay. It's Tempest's turn. Okay, so I'm trying to think of what would be most beneficial. I like how the gun's pointing right at Ben. Mm -hmm. All right, sorry, I'm just reading over this one. What do I want to, that's a good idea. What do I want to do mm -hmm. this round? Mm -hmm. Okay, so... I 
I think I am going to go after Ben Shapiro. Get him. And let's see. He's going to drink your liberal tears. <laughs> I think I might stab him with a dagger. Ooh. Okay. It's personal. You hit for three points of damage. Kind of goes past his chainmail, slips in, and gives him a little tickle. Yay. Mm -hmm. It's just what I was planning. <laughs> It's the goblin's turn. There's a few of them. Not bad. Another mm -hmm. hobgoblin steps out and just sees you just in time for you to stab his friend. So he's going to fire his bow at you. Sweet. Angry woman out. Angry woman in. Critting for 10 points of damage. Oh. Ooh. You fire, you know, you're able to get that, but you're not paying attention, so the arrow just comes and catches you right there. You're also not used to your much larger body size, so you are unaware of dodging. Neat. My cat like <laughs> reflexes are gone. <laughs> did you just did you kind of miss being a kitty? <laughs> and with that, Yeg yells at the other goblins to go and get the exploding man. And they kind of look at him and go. Fuck you too, and do nothing. <laughs> I look at him and I say, "There's more where that came from, buddies." K rules turn. Uh, I'm gonna heal my good friend Toro right there with a little, with a little, with a little sexy touch. Ooh, a good touch. Bam! <clears throat> Get the maximum, my friend. I'll take it. There you go. All right, and it's now a goblin's turn. And Yeg yells again at them. And this time, one of them decides to run forwards and take a swing at Vinny, knowing better than to piss off a fat goblin. Name is Vinny. Uh, Master of Armor. Right, your armor's 18. 20. 20, okay. He hits for three points of damage. This goblin comes to join him as well. Tis but At the nice. speed of a mongoose. And the reflexes of a cat. <laughs> Go ahead. Throw. I dare you. But he misses. He stumbles a little bit on the gravel, getting up to you. Rix's turn. <clears throat> Oh my gosh. Move right here. I'm going to ice knife this guy right here, right in the Dickens. <laughs> Change his name Fro to Charles. Frodo Dickens. What it, the dick? It misses. It hits the wall behind him. Yep. I'll take it. He said 13. Sorry, I, I keep forgetting. It's a 13 save, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, what's the damage? Six. So, one of them, the one that ends up dodging the knife, doesn't dodge the explosion and the shatter of ice hits him in the back, badly wounding him. But the other two are able to react in time. Well, one of them reacts. Yeg's protected by the heat of his cauldron. Mm. I have a bonus action. Nope. You're doing something else? Yep. Oh, I'm also oh, going to Summon my uh, bear spirit totem. Mm. Everyone gets that seven temp health. Oh yeah. Hmm. What's the range? Hmm? What's the range? Boop, boop, boop. 
boo, the aura. is 30 feet around where I put him. Okay. And you're putting it where? Right behind me. Okay. So yeah, it's got everyone. Five plus drew level, so it's eight. I'm up up. Ooh. Eight health. Okay, eight temporary health. Put that shit in the blue. Got it. Adam. Got it. All right. Torvor, your turn. Already? I'm going to use one of my uh, key points and use the triple flurry of blows on this fella. Dennis Bureau. I can't see his name, but yes. Yes. <laughs> Oh, plus a crit. All three hit. And the final one crits. You just see him, and it goes for a one, two, and then the third one hits him in the jaw, turning his head to an awkward angle. Good. Good. As ben Shapiro goes down. Checkmate, liberals. All right. The goblins whose turn it was died, but the hobgoblin's still here. And he's going to step right in and take a swing at K roll. I fucking dare you. Missing. Little bitch. Steals glider. Okay. Finny's turn. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to step right here. And I'm going to cast a thing. <laughs> I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on myself. Nice. Okay, 12 points of healing. It says 10. It's 10. Oh, I, I, I saw it cast twice, so I was giving you the first one, which was higher. Oh, I didn't see that. Me neither. It, it was indeed 10, 12. Okay, come on, work. Mm hey, I, I, and that's my bonus action. I'm going to use my spiritual weapon to swing it at the goblin that's right there. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Getting ahead of yourself. Where's the damn thing? Rotate the gun up. Oh, that's the damage. It misses. The gun takes a swing. It's a mace! But it's a gun, so it doesn't swing very well. Goddamn mace. <laughs> but that is the goblin's turn. That is very confused and wants to try to swing at the spiritual weapon that swung at it. Doesn't even have health. What a dumb goblin. Does the spiritual weapon have an AC or anything? Well, I didn't think you were actually going to try to attack it, so I didn't look that up. <laughs> It's not a very smart goblin. It rolled a crit, if it can even hit it. Oh, you're going to be that kind of guy, huh? Don't like my spells? Oh, you rolled a crit. Go look up right here. I'm sick of this bullshit. Yeah, I'm going to say that it's a weapon and has no health. So he swings. He swings with all the bike behind them. It's the weapon. And it just does clang. Please tell me it ricochets off the ground and hits. It goes right into his forehead. 
Why would he kill himself on a on an only successful hit? No. <laughs> but he does absolutely nothing because it's a weapon. Tempest, your turn. Okay, so wait, what's this guy's name in front of Torvor? That one? Hobgoblin. Just random hobgoblin. Okay. I do not think you guys were coming here yet. Okay, no worries. Right. I just want to make sure you know which one I'm I'm gonna zap. Yep. Okay. Right. The forums say so, you know you can't attack it, but it dumb creatures might try to. So. <laughs> exactly, it's a goblin. It's not. <laughs> okay, so I am going to try to do um, shocking grasp against him. Okay. He's wearing metal armor, so you have advantage. I believe. Yep. So roll again. Roll the spell again. Yeah, advantage you get twice. Oh. Roll twice. Got it. You take the higher one. Yeah. You hit. <laughs> All right, roll damage. He takes four points of damage. Does it have any other effects? Um, I think, let me see here. No. A shocking grass. Yeah, it says the spell's damage increases by it one. It can't take re reactions until the end of its next turn. Got it. Okay. That, it As saw the know, goblin's know. turn. This one's going to step up and swing. Hey, you better, better. Swing and a miss. Same with this one. He's going to move right over to here. Swing and a hit. For six points of damage against your shield. Against and then this shield. one's going to step around the table. Six points of damage against my shield? Well, your temporary HP. Oh, yeah. I know how it works. Okay. And that one, this one's going to fire a short bow. That also hits for three points of damage. What a bunch of bitch goblins. <laughs> it's K. Rule's turn. 20 AC, and they hit me 90% of the time. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'm going to hit this guy. Right in front of my face. Okay. Because if I if I move anywhere, he's gonna get a chance to hit me, and I don't want that. <laughs> Seventeen. You miss. What? The. As a bonus action, I kick dirt in his face. <laughs> That's my move action. Kick dirt. Yeah. And as a bonus action, he yells back, you have no honor. <laughs> I go, your name's Hobgoblin. Hope you're a righteous paladin. Pirate paladin punk. Alliteration. All right. So this guy's going to step forwards and take a swing at... Tempest. Missing badly. These guys are all swinging. Yes. Not a whole lot of thrusting and uh, other things. Mm. They're not too talented. This isn't that kind of show. <laughs> and with that, uh, not, Yeg reaches into the pot and throws a ladle of its contents at Rixus. It's contents? Hmm. <laughs> it's not that kind of show. Tents. It's turned into that. <laughs> Where the stars go. Ladle, ladle, ladle. I made you up with cum. Ladle, ladle, he, ladle. He whips the hot ladle of food at Rixus, dealing seven points of fire damage. 
Ooh. Ooh. Joke's on you. I'm immune to fire damage. That's why I just decided that right now. Must have been Robin, because that's that'll damage you pretty bad. <laughs> All right, Rix, it's your turn. Fire damage with a ladle? No, the, the it's heat damage. No, it was the uh, the 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 hot contents in the side yep. of the ladle. I mean, when you get burned <laughs> by water, you're like ah, water damage. It's fire damage. It's heat. Yeah, heat damage. It's burn it's damage. <laughs> So, Rix, it's your turn. So you can get ladled to death? <laughs> you can definitely get ladled to death. Yep. Mm. You sons of bitches. Hmm. All right. It's 20 feet. 5, 10... When's Feeney's turn? Uh, two more. Do you have your turn thing up? Yep. I was just looking. Yeah, I, I because goblins just kept on going in here, and I didn't want to do it. I just started adding them to certain turns. Oh, there's this goblin in front of Feeney. I don't like the way he's looking at Feeney. <laughs> like so I'm going to shillelagh him. <laughs> It hits. <laughs> and it kills. Uh -huh. <laughs> Bumped him on the head. Whack. And you drop him. Poor horse turn. I will use claws on old hobby in front of me here. All right. Your claws oh, do nothing to his chain mail. <sighs> well, now that you know that, so. Should have gone for the eyes like Captain Insano. He shows no mercy. <laughs> but he cries being fancy and goes to swing at you with his... Uh, the butt of his sword, just turning and going like that backwards, and ends up hitting into the wall with his hand, dropping the sword. The hobgoblin dropped his sword? The hobgoblin right here, taking oh. a swing at Tor War, just missed his sword, but oh. dropped his sword. And he hurt his little hand. He hurt his hand, hitting the wall, trying to like just go back and... Hit him. Silly. That it's Finny's turn. The silly man. I'm just gonna take a swing at this other goblin right here. Punch him in the face. Swing. No, the mace. With the mace. Mace punch. It hits. You know about um ten damage. What you saw on Good the end of your purse. Well, now you know what happened to the goblin. I guess that's why they call I him the gobstopper. I heard his bones crack, and his then and then I'm gonna crack. attack the other uh, the other goblin with the spiritual weapon. Let's get spiritual. It hits. Oh, it hits. <laughs> Nine <damage. laughs> the goblin very confused because his weapons didn't work. Was That's my tenth great. goblin, guys. Let's get it. And gets <laughs> taken <laughs> out by the spiritual weapon. You're fucking wrecking shit. All right, it's Tempest's turn. Okay, so... But to the one in front of you. Greenwall, hit the lights. Which which one is the asshole behind me? What's his name? 
All assholes are behind you. Hobgoblin. Okay, just random hobgoblin asshole. I'm just making sure. I was originally thinking he dropped his drop sword. sword. <laughs> He's now a swordless goblin. <laughs> no, that's the Hurt one hand. next to me. Gobbis Horton. I can't handed. get to that guy on my next turn, so you guys punch the one in front of you so I can hit something. I might be able to. I can move through the, the, the weapon. Special oh, you want the real bad? All right, so I'm going to get this guy here, the one behind me. Um, let's see. Don't like what he's doing. <sighs> he's a dirty, dirty boy. <laughs> Steve, if you don't yawn long enough, I can't count your teeth. Oh, one, two, three. All right, I'm going to try shocking grasp again because. I don't know how well fire is going to work, and obviously, I can't do range with crossbow. Dagger was a bad idea. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nuclear it always poison. Poison. Mm. Do you have witch bolt or elder blast? Well, I was thinking of doing um, chromatic oh, yeah. or poison. But that's like a 90 foot, so I need to decide if I want to use it. Because I can only use it once. Yeah, save that. These, you guys only have have yeah. These guys don't have a lot of health. Yeah. So, um, what if I just did Shocking Grasp again against the one behind me? Or the one in front of me. I did that on the one in front of me. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, I literally just killed a guy with a stick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll get the one next to K. Roll. Rick just killed the guy. <laughs> he's probably lay low for a while, buddy. He's taking <laughs> he's taking Rick off the grid. <laughs> okay, you have advantage, but you hit. He takes seven points of damage, and you've all seen the cartoons where they get electrocuted and then just fall down. Well, <laughs> dirt too much. That is <laughs> what happened. Much. Hmm. All right. With this, the Hobgoblin has decided that he does not like you electrocuting his friends and is taking another longsword swing. Unfortunately, it does nothing against you. And also, these two, this Goblin that has been injured by the Ice Knife is going to run forwards over the tables and take a swing at Rixus. You grab a dog. But unfortunately for him, his blood is in his eyes, so he does not get off a successful attack. K rule, your turn. Uh, can I move? K rule. K rule. You can move there, but they'll take a swing at you. Just let it happen. Yeah. You you've got temporary C dude. Yeah, fuck it. I mean temporary health. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And the swing happens after you move, so. All right, take your attack. All right, you little bitch. Fuck. <laughs> you still have not hit him. I know. I know none of them counted. I just wanted to see how long it would take till I hit him. No, none of them beat his AC. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> so Nags kind of just runs by and goes... <laughs> <laughs> Accomplishing nothing. Except for the fact of the Hobgoblin was unable to hit him in his computer. He accomplished a tactical reposition. Yeah. <laughs> if you were standing there, he'd be flanked. Should have moved there. Right. This can, Goblin... You can split up your move. It was still your turn. Oh, yeah, he's right. Still move there. Boop. There you go. Yep. He's flanked now, guys. We got him. So, now this Goblin right here... Is going to take a shot at Finny. He's going to hit him. Was it Valentine's Day? 
He actually does hit him for four points of damage. Ow. You rabid thing. And it, it is Brix's turn. As <laughs> Yeg was back to his pot. So that guy shot a little bow at me? He shot a little arrow. <laughs> oh, another gobby up to touch my shillelagh. Damn. Hey, how do I get all these fucking terrible rolls with a plus five? What the dick? The, go- the one hit point goblin is safe. Torvor, your turn. Safe. Safe. Bum, bum, bum. Do I want to do anything else? All right, I will use an unarmed strike on the gobby here. Senor Gobbins. And it does not work. I guess the hobgoblin. Man, you need to get the darts back out. It's true. It's Finny's turn. I'm going to attack the hobgoblin with the spiritual weapon. Yeah. It does not work. And even though it didn't work, I'm going to move the spiritual weapon. <laughs> Five. Five, ten, fifteen. To there. And then I'm gonna swing my little Mesa Rooney at the bloody one. Okay. I missed. <laughs> you did, and it is Tempest's turn. Okay. Let's see. I have such a Bad luck with a dagger. Mm. No help. I'll try shocking grasp again. Since he's so close. Okay. He's in freaking metal. Roll again. <laughs> he takes two points of damage. Woohoo! You damn right he does. It's his turn. He doesn't like where he's positioned, so he is going to move here. Mm-hmm. Tor of War and Tempest both get an attack of opportunity. Which attack do I roll for that? You roll just a standard attack, and Tempest would roll her dagger. Both of them miss, though, as he gets to the side and decides to take a swing at K. Roll. Luckily, K. Roll's back. Missing as well. Do I get a Do I get a attack of opportunity on that guy? Sure. I'm hoping that one will hit. Nope. 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 This is a whole bunch of sword wagging as you all dance around each other. <laughs> okay, rolls turn. Let me try again. Mm. All right. Well, that was your turn. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most inept sword fight. <laughs> hey, use your bite attack. He only gets one. Yeah, I only get Wait. one. One for one for right. short rest. Mm. Oh, you've it's, got some weak mouth muscles. Jesus. Well, you can only bite once every short rest. Oh, I need a rest after that. As a, as a Attempt bonus, to bite as something. A, as a bonus action. I, like I know, it's a bonus action, but... All right. This bonus goblin doesn't mean has, you only get one. That's just how that one works. This goblin has ran out of arrows and has decided to run up to Finny. Just taking a swing and bouncing right off his shield. Is that a healthy guy? That's the healthy guy. He must work out. <laughs> and Yar Yig decides to try to oh, swing no another ladle worth of his glop at Rixus. K-Roll's a kitty person now. 
but this time it just kind of swings out and just sprays all over the floor in front of him. He doesn't get a good whip on it. Maybe I'll get a no, good whip. Good. Rixus, your turn. <laughs> Good kitty. Uh, I'm going to wild shape stick. back to wolf and bite with my pack advantage. Part of the four. Part of the pack. Right there. Bum, bum, bum. Oh. Again, this mofo swinging his ladle at me. <laughs> This guy? Uh, the guy in the back is throwing stuff, hot stuff in the ladle at you. Not the one in front oh. of you. No, I was biting the guy right here. <laughs> the bloody one. Well, he just dies. You bite right through his thigh, deep, taking off his leg. And I shake him like a dog who has a you know, stuffed animal. Yeah, they also do that with three animals, too. You, you ever should... seen a dog hunt rats? <laughs> you actually, while shaking him, hit the goblin next to it, causing him to stumble to the side. Nice. So you beat a goblin with a goblin. <laughs> Crisscross. Torah Ward, your turn. I'm going to fling Radiant Sunbolt at the goblin. Hobgoblin. Hopefully Radiant Sunball. It hits. For the win. Uh, strike. And you send a searing bolt. Since he's been used to this little sword dance you're doing, it ends up catching him right into his shoulder, dealing four points worth of radiant damage. Okay. Two of us over here taking all our goblins on. These guys all... Triple team this mofo in the corner. Hey, we had more. We had more. This goblin is missing his turn because he's trying to catch his balance. Wait, no, actually, there wasn't a goblin, so never mind. It's Finny's turn. It's my turn, huh? Beanie. Up there. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> and we're both gonna uh, flank this mofo and hit him with the hammers from both sides. <laughs> oh, that, mine, those miss. Okay, <laughs> let's see if the other one makes it. Yeah, I own it. So, while the ones in f that you swing from the front do not land, the spiritual weapon does conk him right in the back of the head, Seven hitting damage. him at the base of the skull and bring him down. That's a good gun. <laughs> uh, it's barrelless. That'll do, gun. Spiritual That'll gunpowder. Do. Tempest turn. Okay, so K Rule and Torvor, are you guys good with taking care of guy there next to you? If yeah, I were probably not. Yeah, we're gonna try. Well, I was gonna uh, run forward and try to do a range spell against um, Cook Jerk down there. Hold Cook Jerk. Make sure you say see you later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, go ahead. Okay. I'm gonna go right here. We can cur keep jerking this guy off over here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a corner, corner jerk. <laughs> All right, so I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm going, going to. Reach around to... Get him from the front at the same time. It's gonna be like this. Let's see, I'm going to try a chromatic orb and poison. Okay. You miss. Crap. Ugh. It does land in his pot, making him very angry now. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> it's poison. He's ruined that guy's pot. <laughs> Doobie the house elf is not going to be happy. Yeah. With that, it is the hobgoblin's turn. 
And Nags, make a dexterity, I mean, an uh, athletics check. You fail, and he knocks you prone. Pushing you down. Very well made. Out, and using that as a chance to get through this door. Oh, he's about to sex you up now. We did not do our job, Nags. No, we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and you see him I go left. through this door right over here. Okay, and now it's Nags' turn. Uh, so I can stand up, right, and that's my move action. Yeah, uh, yes, it's your move action to get up, and if you want, you can take your action to take a second move. All right, I guess I'll move. Not like the way you move. All right, hold on. All right, so the thing is here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Did you guys let a, did you guys let a go and run away? I'm going Maybe. after him. All right, I'm moving here. Throw the rat at him. I we killed that rat. Spots. Okay. Oh, right, the rat's gone. I'm right there. Should have kept the rat. <laughs> No, he was a ghost rat. He was somewhat physical. You had him. Okay. And he also seeing now that his food's ruined, is going to try to do the same. And he's going to try to get out of here. Mm. Man. Fuck that guy. You want to go back out, buddy? Rick's it's your turn. The door is open, though, so... The door need, is open. You don't need hands to open it. Speak, friend, and enter. I was going Labyrinth, but I'll take either one. <laughs> mm. And the door will open. All right. We're at an impasse. Do we chase the cook? Leave Jeremy to... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I can boot boot by this guy. Jeremy, <laughs> Jeremy, Jeremy only needs to hit that guy once. Yeah, I just gotta hit him. How's this guy running away? You see something here? Oh, he thinks he's hot shit. He doesn't know. That wolves can run really far. <laughs> I don't think that knowledge would have stopped him from trying to leave. <laughs> what? Don't know. <laughs> Does that dog bite? He got teeth, don't he? <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's... Don't worry, he doesn't bite. Mm-hmm. He got teeth down. When you do catch up to him, your bite misses. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. And it's Torvor's turn. Is the door open by Cruel here? I'll say yes. Cruel opened the door, but he wasn't able to move any further because the hobgoblin was there. Oh, that means you can punch him. You can you can get next to me and punch him. Or shoot him with a dart. Do something. I, I'm going to shoot him, him with a dart. dart. It's dirt time. <laughs> na, 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 oh. na, 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 dirt. Oh. For some strange <laughs> reason, Torvor felt the need to throw a dart, even though he can throw balls of energy with his bare hands. Sometimes you need a dart. Yeah. <laughs> into the door frame. Finny's turn. Shouldn't we be able to see more of our room up here? Yes, you should. That's the answer to that. Yes, you should. I'm glad there wasn't a thousand bad guys hiding there. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for that, too. Um, hey, guys. Remember all that shit you were talking? There's more bros up here. Come help us. 
Nope. Team Rocket's blasting off again. <laughs> Okay, so with that, it is Tempest turn. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> okay, um... Is it just me, or are we, like, just be we just goblin genociders? Yeah, you, you guys just, yeah. Well, that, the thing is, it's okay, because literally everybody wants to be a goblin genocider, because everyone wants all goblins dead. I mean, you, you teleported in and inadvertently killed, like, eight. The only people that don't want goblins dead are things that eat goblins and other goblins. The only good goblin is a dead goblin. Okay. Poor Doobie. Doobie, doobie, doobie. Okay, so question. If I were to fire a firebolt, is there um, damage that can be done to your people? No. Okay, just making sure. I couldn't remember the rules on that. Because I know I can't run through there without landing on his head. So I'm going to run forward. Just tell Rex and... to open his legs up. <laughs> Don't <laughs> Shoot, doggy it's it's miscellaneous. <laughs> right now I'm smaller. <laughs> just shoot me in the face. I don't Go know. I'm pretty head. good at doing crotch shots in like, games. Mask tour if we're... <laughs> Especially in Pokemon Snap. He tried to have me do like Call of Duty or something, and every time, like I shot him in the crotch, like it was not one shot that I didn't get him there. So, well, at least yeah, we're, at least they're all headshots. You see, there's a new <laughs> That's what I told him. <laughs> you see, there's a new Pokemon Snap coming out. It's out. Oh yeah, it's out. Yeah. It's out. All right, so I'm gonna try to do a fireball. And we'll see what happens. You were critical strike right into the nuts for 12 points of damage. Now, for a chef that should be used to dealing with fire, this wasn't it. He got you, burned. You strike him right in the face as you see the flesh disappear from it, leaving a bleached skull on the front side. Front side, and he gives you the finger. As he died. I'm fine with that. <laughs> it's now the Hobgoblin's turn, who is going to attempt to do another shove at K. Roll. Get out of here. Uh, Give me away. a athletics check. But he doesn't succeed. He kind of goes and goes to kick with his foot, there. and it just hits and bounces right off your belly. Your guard dog. Causing him to lose balance so that he is unable to run. And it's next turn. All right, you mother. You're the only one waiting to die. All right, Come get on. him. Get him. Uh, <laughs> and... <laughs> For every advantage you have been granted, it's not taken. Rix's turn. I yell down, hey, you guys want to come up? For some reason, I can't hit this fucking fuck. <laughs> I'm right behind you. We just I take a, a doggy more. peek around the corner real quick. Apparently, I stare into the void. <laughs> is that what your turn is? No, he said he looked around the corner, you, you goober. Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> I took a doggy peek. That's why we all went like this. And this is as far as you are able to see. Because there's a curtain blocking your view. I told you there was a shower in here. Good, I can wash that's up how, all That's this. how the snow went away. I can wash up all this stank. Cranky took a shower. <laughs> oh, okay. And obviously they're going to heal Diddy Kong, so thanks for keeping him alive. Now we have to fight him again. But he doesn't have his weapons. They're in my pocket. I'm sure he won't find anything else. <laughs> it is Torvor's turn. 
to start slaying I told you I'm gonna kill him. Toxic, poisonous poo. So you tell me to be a paladin, and you tell me not to be a paladin. You tell me to be a paladin, and you tell me not to be a paladin. Make up your fucking mind! I wanna do what I wanna do! <laughs> be a paladin. No! That's Don't not good enough! Don't be a paladin. No! <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to try a Radiant Sunbolt to finally kill this guy. But not today. Nope, not today. <laughs> I turn around toward War and I go, We suck! <laughs> so, so badly. Finny, your turn. Okay. Okay. I think you guys got it handled over there. Yeah, we're good. There's no point in even trying to go for <laughs> One that. of these days. Oh, cool. You're side all entrance. fighting this guy. This was a little side entrance for coming in right here. Yeah, we could have probably snuck in over there. This went just fine. We're fine. You guys need to hurry up and kill that guy. I'm trying. It's like when for I my turn, I send positive vibes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just moving there, there. All right. I will just move there and ready a sacred flame. That's someone come, coming by. Right. And this and this weapon's gonna move up to here. Tempest, your turn. Okay, so this is the door we here we have not opened yet, right in front of Finny. Or has that been opened? This, this door right here? Yeah. It has not been opened yet. Okay. So what do we want to do? Do we want to try to open that door? Or do we want to um, inspect the rest of that room? Take a shower. Do you want to inspect her gadget? <laughs> <laughs> um. Let's see. Can I go over here and do a perception check or a um? That's no. brave. You can go in there and take a look. Okay. Hmm. Can I do insight or do I have to do something else? Insight on what? No, on what I might find or where? Yeah, to find something first. Mm, fair hmm. enough. All right. So... <laughs> <laughs> Have you found what you're looking for, Barry? You can just search your anxiety and imagine you find something and then have insight towards that. Hmm, Try to discover. You don't really see anything besides rubble and what looks like a sheet that's put across to create some kind of privacy. A little something. Burn it down. Burn it down. I can't. Didn't I just use my action? Yeah. Baby, it's rain. The Hobgoblin has decided that, you know, he's not getting hit, so he's going to just turn around. Take, make an attack of opportunity. You're pissing me <laughs> off. And the attack misses. <laughs> he runs and he goes to slide down here, but ends up tripping and falling down the gravel. <laughs> what? Taking one point of damage as he it's lands. It's like Ray and Wipeout. <laughs> and this is where you just go and stay out. Get out of my castle, you mangy kid. It's Hyrule's turn. All right, I'm going to move right here. And I'm going to try one more thing. I'm going to throw my fucking javelin at him as he's trying to run away. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, and stay out, and he yeah. throws his javelin, <laughs> and he actually gets him. He's like, oh. So what ends up happening is he runs, after dodging so many great swords, he goes and slides down the thing, trips a little bit, and as he starts to right himself, a javelin just catches him right between the shoulder blades and pops right off the front right here. Right in his fucking, right in his big, ugly mouth. And with that, everything you have fought is dead. Everyone you 
have ever loved. Instead. That son of a bitch. Have you done it yet? Have you popped your butt cherry, B-Rye? No. <laughs> right, spiritual weapon's gone. Oh, there we go. All your temp health's gone. It's already gone. Here's gone. All right. So I'll tell you some of the things that you see for the rooms that you're in right now. Torvor and Megs in that room five. You see old casks of salted meat and sacks of rotten grain filling the storage area. Among the supplies, you see a bloody suit of chainmail, a heavy crossbow, and an unsheathed long sword with the emblem of Neverwinter worked into its hilt. The what? See, you see, um, <laughs> Can you just link it? Yeah, that'd be cool. There you go. Bloody suit of chainmail. Is that that longsword one-handed props? I don't know. Steve is frozen in terror. We should take a short rest. We should take a short rest. I agree. We should take a short rest. I need to get my spirit totem back. Let me get my little misty step back. His PC crashed. <laughs> so. All right, now we can uh, finally do the castle. As the <laughs> lead <laughs> goblin killers, we decide we take a short rest. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, let me see what this. Uh... <laughs> Steve, while you were gone, we uh, killed everyone in the castle. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It happened. Didn't need you. <laughs> Bloody suit of chain. Well, like how it has to be bloody. Like it adds to the value or something. It's get... just British, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's like a chain mail plus one or something after I clean it off. Heavy armor, at least. What am I rocking? That's what I got on currently. I mean, it'll be a plus one. All right, but come back, Gamoff. Would you like to roll the dice or take Wicked Wango card? <laughs> Wicked Wango. Everybody's phones goes off. Whoops, 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 whoops. Before before we before we take our short rest, so I can get my spell slots back. You don't get your spell spot, slots back. Damn it! All right, so is, is this you get some of your bonus actions back, right? <laughs> yes, you guys can take a short rest and get some of your hit points back. Cool. Which is probably what I would suggest to do, and this is probably about we already decided that we did that. 
Okay. <laughs> I don't know what you roll for your health. It's not what slowing you, me. What do you roll for your health for a short rest? Uh, you can roll up to your total hit dice in healing. So you guys are level three. Whatever your hit dice is, you can roll that. And that's how much you heal. And if you're only using one hit dice, then you still have two left for like a later short rest. I don't get it. I go, I go 1d10, right? Yes. If you click on short rest, it should have the hit dice thing for you. Excuse me. Uh, is that bloody chain mail, just regular chain mail? That chain mail you guys actually recognize as being Sildar's. Ah, Sildar. The man that I remember. I've never forgotten him. I guess I'll just put that in my pocket. Cockerino. Gamma. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> okay. Let's play Bamboozled. Go to Ladder Destiny. Cross the Golden Mud Hut. <laughs> Bang, you're in Paradise Pond. It's been a pleasure killing and watching <laughs> you guys fight that one hot goblin. Uh, it, took it, it took us fucking forever to kill that guy. I, I, at least, like, at least I went out with a bang and killed him with a spear. Man, he was sweeping. It your wasn't leg even on purpose. Cannon. You were, you were just like, and stay out, and then oh, got him. All right, I guess we'll call it there, guys. Uh, good job, everyone. We took minimal damage and killed about twenty orcs. Well, you and I killed like one. We killed three. <laughs> Finny over there, fucking. I killed twelve. Fucking. Yeah, you killed more in one attack than we did in the entire run. In like eight attacks. <laughs>